Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us at GolfCartGarage.com. Today on GCG TV, we're taking a quick crash course in watering golf cart batteries. Along with proper charging, maintaining the right water level in your golf cart batteries is essential and one of the most important things you can do to extend their life. This can help both to increase your drive time on an everyday basis and to ensure you get the most overall years of service out of the big investment you've made in golf cart batteries. Today at Golf Cart Garage, we've got a club car precedent with an automatic watering system that uses this pump to fill the batteries all at once. We've also got this EasyGo RXV that needs to be watered manually using this water fill bottle. We'll also want a bright work light, a pair of gloves, and some distilled water. It's available at most grocery stores and free from impurities that conduct electricity. You should always use only distilled water in the golf cart batteries. We'll take a look at each system and the tools used for this important maintenance. Then we'll take some questions. But since this isn't live and I can't hear any of you, I recommend you just pay careful attention. At least the Q&A will be short. Our first step in this process is to fully charge the batteries before adding water. Watering should only be done when the batteries are charged to full. Next, we access the battery compartment. When you lift the golf cart seat forward, it can easily be removed by lifting it out of the hinges at the front of the battery compartment. On the EasyGo RXV cart, we'll have to remove every cap by hand and use the battery filling bottle. We set the caps upside down on a non-painted metal surface. They can sometimes have battery acid or residue on them, and we don't want them left on body panels or other areas that could be damaged. Under each cap is a circular channel that goes down inside the battery about an inch. The bottom of this channel is the ideal water level for your batteries. So if you're doing this using a jug and funnel, make sure to stop your filling there. Overfilling your batteries can lead to leaking and other problems. We recommend using this water fill bottle because it fits perfectly into the holes at the top of the battery caps and only allows water to flow when the nozzle is pushed down. The sides of the nozzle let in air, so when the water reaches that point, it stops filling automatically. Basically, all you have to do is push down on the bottle until you hear the bubbling stop. On this particular cart, we'll also need a Torx bit to remove the rear access panel because of the caps on the rear battery. They're not quite accessible from inside the battery compartment using the water fill bottle. Next, we'll take a look at our club car precedent. This cart is equipped with a water filling system that has tubes attached to the battery caps so that they can all be filled at once. It requires a pump to be attached to the fitting on one end, and the other end is placed directly into the distilled water jug. Essentially, you squeeze this pump until it becomes difficult to do so, and you stop hearing the water move through the tube. This automatically keeps your water at the proper level. Just like our lawns and pets, golf cart batteries need water to survive. Maintaining them well can ensure your investment lasts. We want to tell you all about the best way to charge those batteries using our Summit 2 model as well. But that's another episode for another day. So stop by GolfCartGarage.com or give us a call 1-800-401-2934 to outfit your cart today. Our customer care specialists would love to help answer all your questions, provide service, and place orders right over the phone. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more episodes. Thanks for watching GCG TV.